Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot. We're fighting Koala Kong. We have to play as Crash. We can't play as the Supreme Kogo. This guy is difficult. He's jacked. He's ripped. He shakes his little butt. He's hard. It's very difficult. That's all you have to do. But you gotta watch out for the minecarts. You gotta watch out for the TNT. What are we playing? Minecraft? I think he throws three, then he does the big boulder. We're playing Minecraft SMP Adventures with Koala Kong. And we're in the PvP arena. This is where it gets hard. Oh. He hit me. I swear this is not difficult. The sun was in my eyes. Does he throw it at you, or does he throw it to the middle? He throws it to the middle. So we don't have to worry about being out of the way. Why did it drop TNT on the other side that one time? And he just, he straight up throws it in the middle. We just, if I didn't hit the minecart, he'd be dead by now. You just gotta. We just gotta watch out. Oh, he travels to a different area each time. Beautiful. I didn't know you could push the boulder. I've honestly like never touched it, because I've always been scared that if you do touch it, it'll kill you. Because things like that can happen in Crash, especially with like one of the bosses in uh, Crash Twin Sanity. If you touch it after it dies, it still kills you. I just got a text from a scam call number. And there he goes. Whee! Ride in the minecart. Hoping to find some diamonds to mine. Diamonds, diamonds to mine. We're on Island 3. Heavy machinery. We might start only being able to do two levels per video. Um, depending on how long the levels are. I love this level. I love the music. I love the enemies. Like, these levels are genuinely... Ugh! I know I said that I love, like, Sunset Vista, Slippery Climb. Um lights out stuff like that but you have to believe me when I say whole wholeheartedly these levels the machine level is it's good you see don't take all my deaths into consideration of man this game is difficult I want you to instead be like, wow, that guy's rushing. He would have a much easier time if he didn't try to skip the game. It would be totally easier for him. And then, like, when I don't rush and I actually do good, you can do the Leonardo DiCaprio pointing meme. <laughs> I give you full permission. And be like, see, I told you so. Oh, you just don't want to brush legs with the pipes. You don't want to get piped. Oh, 
Hopefully the comment questions have been being answered. If not, that's okay. Once my audience has grown a little bit bigger, things will be a little bit uh, more inclined to do so. You cannot jump on those. Okay. But speaking of comment questions... Um... Let's think of a good one. Let's think of a good one. I don't necessarily want to keep them all crash themed. Oh, the spikes are brushing. I don't... But I don't want to go off theme either. Ah, uh, this is going to be difficult. Okay, I just walked past the dude. Ah, oh, I got steamed. Better me than my cook. Huh? I'm gonna have to take a moment to think of a comment question. I'm just mindlessly jumping on crates. Of all the Crash games, if you've played multiple Crash games, of all of them, which one do you like the most? Like, there's Crash 1, 2, 3, there's uh, Crash Team Racing, um, Nitro Kart, Twin Sanity, there's a bunch. Um, even like Crash Purple, stuff like that. Uh, Crash the Huge Adventure. I played a ton of the Huge Adventure on Game Boy Advance. And there's a Spyro Season of Flame that I played a lot too. But my favorite Crash game, without a doubt, of all time, irrefutable, undeniable, Crash Twin Sanity. That is a S plus tier gem of a game. Does that hurt you? No. I, I swear to God, there's one of those that like pushes you up into a steam thing and you just, you get railed. I swear on everything that I know. You know me with my track record of being correct on things. I feel like you can trust me. When I when I say something, it happens. Uh, uh, I don't like the moving platforms and jumping. Because I can move faster than they do. Uh, nitrous... <sighs> we'll do it live. I'm seriously only giving it one attempt. Curled my toes a little bit. Not gonna lie. Oh, we're going down. I thought we'd be going sideways. There's a box on the left. There's totally. Yeah. With a free man. My grandma always called them free men. And I always said, no, grandma, they're extra lives. My grandma, a shout out to grandma, she got me into Crash Bandicoot. She was a gamer. She got me into Crash Bandicoot. I owe all my love for Crash and Spyro to grandma. Although sometimes, like, she would have her own save files. And she would, like beat all the levels except for like she'd get stuck on certain levels each time and the phone would start ringing 
and I'd check in, it would be grandma. And calling me, asking me to come over, beat the level for her, and crash Bandicoot. And you bet, you bet I was like down there in a speedy flat. Speedy flash. Go there, beat the level first try. Like 10 years old, all nice and proud, triumphant. And, uh, and immediately get roasted by grandma. Guns in my game. He, he shot me through the thing. Excuse me. That's cheating. There's no way I'm getting all the boxes in this. There's no checkpoint. There's no way I'm getting all the boxes in this level. You need a gem, anyways. And yes, you can touch the blue pipes. They are cold. I don't know why you can touch freezing cold, but you can't touch hot. Seems like you shouldn't be able to touch either or. Um. That's just how it goes, I guess. Ooh. There's the checkpoint. Do you really expect me to go both ways? I can't, I can't go both ways. Oh, you can do that. I am confused. Oh. Well, I'm at 99 lives. That's a fast platform. We'll just beat this level. And then... Flabbergast. Uh... We'll call the video after this one. I don't want to go into overtime again. Like I said, the, vi the, the levels are going to start getting longer. They're going to start getting harder. We missed a lot of boxes. Are we going to get pancaked? Is Coco going to get flattened? Nope. Man, you have to miss a lot of boxes for that to happen then. Sheesh. Generator. Oh. We're gonna save. Generator room in the original PS1 version. I had a funny Cortex face where he was like pelvic thrusting into the camera. In this game, they changed it. It looks weird. But if you made it this far. Uh. Thank you. Remember, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Have fun, be safe. I'll catch you in the next episode of Crash Bandicoot.